And these are the towels Asano developed. Sales of the product have continued to expand thanks to their exceptional absorbency. How absorbent can they be? We compared one with an ordinary towel. What happens when we pour 900 milliliters of blue-colored water on each towel? It's quite amazing. The ordinary towel couldn't absorb this much excess water. But look at the Takumi's towel. It leaves no excess water at all. It has 1.5 times the absorbency of an ordinary towel. Why is there such a big difference in how much they can absorb? Well, actually, we use a different yarn to make our towels. It's the yarn? Towels are usually made by weaving cotton yarn. But this is the yarn that Asano developed to make his towels. It too is 100% cotton, but he says that its absorbency is on another level altogether. He demonstrated the difference with an experiment. Ordinary cotton yarn and Asano's yarn are draped over the edge of two bowls. He pours colored water into each bowl to compare how they will absorb it. First, the ordinary cotton yarn. There's no noticeable change. Next, he pours the water into the bowl with his yarn. The water is soaking through it in a flash. It's almost over the edge. It's starting to run off from the ends. How can it be so different? It just keeps on soaking it up. It's amazing. But this yarn, how does it absorb so much water? I've created more space between its fibers. This space is the secret to its absorbency. These are enlarged pictures of ordinary yarn and Asano's yarn. You can see that Asano's yarn has more space between the fibers than the ordinary yarn. When there's more space like this, capillary action occurs and its water absorbency increases. How is this looser structured cotton yarn created? We went to see the factory. This machine twists two pieces of thread into one. Here, a special kind of fine thread is twisted together with ordinary cotton thread. This special thread has a particular characteristic. When it is put in boiling water, it dissolves and disappears. In fact, this thread is water-soluble and dissolves in very hot water. By combining this soluble thread and cotton thread, it creates a yarn that has more space between its fibers. The cotton thread and the water-soluble thread are twisted together tightly with strong pressure. The resulting yarn is then machine-woven into a towel. When the towel is immersed in hot water, the water-soluble thread dissolves away. Once the dissolved thread has gone, the tightly twisted yarn reacts, and space opens up between its fibers. Asano's super-absorbent towel was perfected. But development was not all smooth sailing. When Asano's two-thread yarn was unwound, it twisted together and could not be set on the machines. That was when he came up with the idea of using steam. He succeeded in straightening out the yarn by putting it through a machine that can steam heat up to 140 degrees Celsius. It was this success that saved the company from imminent bankruptcy. Asano started development of his towel in around 2003. At the time, competition from cheaper yarn from abroad had caused orders to plummet. Workers who were like part of the family had to be laid off. I got plenty of criticism, people saying that the company went wrong since I took over. 
to rebuild a strong business, Asano had to come up with a product that no one could copy. After making over 4,000 prototypes, he finally came up with a super absorbent towel. After having gone through hell, I've realized one thing. If you want to make something, I truly believe that if you explore every possibility without compromise, you will succeed in the end. Michael is surprised that silk is obtained from nature like this.